Hello there and welcome to the 10th episode of English podcast with Ashish Khanna series 2 Childhood is a universal experience something every adult across the world has gone through For many of us it's a time we are nostalgic for a time of curiosity imagination exploration and incredible development the fact that you are listening to this podcast possibly means you had a fortunate childhood that shaped you into the motivated adult you are today here improving your english skills but what helped you get this far who inspired you along the way for many of us a special adult helped us to learn and grow as children and led us to love learning for some it was a great teacher or wise neighbor others had parents grandparents or other relatives who encouraged them to be curious and study hard even if your childhood wasn't easy you probably had at least one inspirational adult in your life who encouraged you and was a role model Unfortunately, not everyone has a good childhood. Proportionately, more children live in poverty than adults. 19.5% of the world's children live in extreme poverty. And even though children are only one-third of the global population, they make up half of the poor. Around the world, many children live without access to clean water, enough food, or decent health care. Others live in extremely dangerous places and some are forced to join armies to fight wars they don't understand. Over 120 million children don't go to school and even those who do are not always learning. Two out of five students leave primary school not knowing how to read, write or do basic maths. Even those who may have happy memories of a childhood they didn't necessarily have an easy life as a kid. Kids depend on the adults in their lives for support and not all adults treat children well. So what's so special about the 20th of November? Of course, every day is, or at least should be, a day to nurture and celebrate children. But Universal Children's Day is celebrated as a special day around the world on the November 20th. In 1989, the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Child was signed. This is a 54-item list describing the universal rights of children, which came out of the work of a lot of experts from many nations who met to create a child specific version of the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Convention on the Rights of the Child was quickly adopted into the civil codes of most countries around the world. So what are these rights? The Declaration, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights says there are basic rights of freedom that every human is entitled to regardless of race, sex, religion, language or anything else that may divide people. The rights of the child recognizes that people under the age of 18 have specific needs too and are entitled to their own rights. There are four main principles that these rights follow. Non-discrimination, the best interests of the child, the right to life, including survival and development, and the right to be heard and taken seriously. According to this, every child has the right to safety, to care, to education, to play, to rest, and to know their rights. The Convention on the Rights of the Child is the world's promise to children that we, the adults, will do everything in our power to protect them, to educate them, and to help them grow. Are you helping to keep this promise? There is a lot to be done 
to make the world a safer, more supportive place for children. The good news is you are an adult and you have the power to influence the next generation in the most wonderful way. Start by explaining the rights of the child to the children in your life. Let them know that they, just like all human beings, have rights. Help a child to learn, love learning so they can become a motivated adult just like you. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. Thank you for taking time out. Have a great day.